This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. Millions of dollars that Governor Gretchen Whitmer took out of the state budget have been put back in. But that doesn't mean that new money was included for the roads, which is what started the whole budget fight in the first place. The deal reached by Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Republican leaders restored funding for charter schools, local sheriff's departments, and veterans. But what was given back to the transportation budget is just a drop in the bucket of what it would take to fix the state's roads and bridges. Partisanship has proved to be an issue and throughout the lengthy budget process, but the governor and the legislature are ending the year with a compromise. However, that compromise means that we're entering 2020 without a long-term road funding solution. The budget agreement also restricts the governor's power to move money around using the state administrative board and allows the legislature to reverse those transfers. But that only applies to this budget. But it's likely to be an issue taken up again in the future. There are still hundreds of millions of dollars in spending that the governor took out of the budget that needs to be dealt with. For Grass Lake High School, just one day to honor the military wasn't enough. Next week, the school will have its second Military Appreciation Day of the year. Our conference was always, has always done a Military Appreciation Day during the football season, so this year we moved it to the basketball season. We thought if we we're already going to do it for football, we should be able to do something for basketball too, said Grass Lake Athletic Director Brian Zalud. And a week from Thursday, the Grass Lake Warriors will hit the hardwood wearing special jerseys to honor those who have served in the armed forces. During the game, every military member gets free admission and a free meal from the concession stand. The school is also working to raise some money, all proceeds going straight to the local American Legion and the VFW. Some parents of MSU students are upset over care packages for their kids, ordered from the university-approved supplier that never arrived. Now finals week is almost over and the parents want answers from On Campus Marketing, LLC. Lisa Freund is an MSU parent and a huge Michigan State fan. When she got a letter in the mail asking if she wanted to buy a care package full of goodies for her daughter's first finals week, she did it and she says she chose the biggest one to be sent. Freund thought she could trust the company since the Michigan State University Activities Board suggested it. However, a month after ordering and a week since OCM told her that it would arrive, her daughter hasn't received anything. Freund just wants her money back and to make sure that other parents don't go through the same situation next year. As she puts it, I'm just disappointed. I was so excited for her to get this and to allow her to share it with her friends and roommates. And you know, there wasn't any time for me to do anything else. MSU says OCM is aware of the situation and extends their apologies. MSU says that the company will provide full refunds. The Arts Council of Greater Lansing discussed plans for next year's Arts Impact Project. The project is a $75,000 grant from the City of Lansing and it will be a permanent creative structure to help enrich the area. On Wednesday night, people gave a brief presentation about what kind of project they'd like to add to the city. Tonight, we hear the ideas. We have a panel of very qualified judges that will listen and evaluate, and over the course of the next few weeks, we'll have any lingering questions answered from the participants, said Megan Martin, Interim Executive Director of the Arts Council of Greater Lansing. One of the projects that this grant has funded in the past was Portrait of Dreamer by Ivan Eiler, located on Michigan Avenue. The Arts Council will announce sometime in January whose idea they will choose for the Arts Impact Project. Learn more about all of these and all MidMichigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.